Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Sisons and Tom de Cuisse. So Sisons is a step that's quite often used in Petit Allegro and also Grand Allegro. And I do have lots of other videos going through things like assemblés, glissés, sautés, échappé sautés and lots of other things. So I will link all the other jump videos that I have in the description. But let's just get straight into the video. I'm going to start with a very typical one which is used a lot in Petit Allegro and it's this one. So, Sisson Décoté. So for this Sisson, we plie in fifth position, we jump up, I'm going to land to the side. So I'm actually displacing myself in this specific Sisson and I'm going plie, jump, land and this foot is going to brush through from a tendu and close in fifth, plie, and then straighten. And it's exactly the same the other side. So plie, jump up, I'm displacing, land in a fondu, and my other leg is going to tendu, brush through the floor to fifth, and finish. Now these ones are small but even when we're doing small seasons and especially when we're doing big seasons it's really important to point both feet because it's quite easy to do this season. So you see that my working leg is pointing each time but my supporting leg is not. So we really need to think about pointing both feet in the season always. So it should be something like this. So now that we've learned this season, I'm going to move on to a ton de cuisse and then we're going to get on to the biggest seasons after. So I'm going to teach you the ton de cuisse as I've been taught it. There might be different variations or different versions of it, but I'm going to share the version that I've learned personally. So a ton de cuisse actually uses this season as part of the movement. The difference is that this time we're going to have a little and before we do the season. So this time, as I plie, I'm going to bring that back foot into coup de pied devant. So I'm changing from back to front, back down into fifth, and then I'm going a season this way. So again, plie, peel the back foot off, bring it to the front, and from there, season, and I close front. So that season does not change feet. I'm starting with it front and closing front. So you might be wondering why that's not just called, for example, coup de pied and then a season. The reason is because the movements go together and they use the music in a different way. So this is not and one and two. It's actually and one and the same to the other side. It's and one. So the coup de pied even happens on the and and then the season one and one. Now, of course, in ballet, you can always do things over and under. So let's do the opposite way. So this time we're starting from the front. We're going to bring the foot to the back and then close behind. And exactly the same to the other side. So, and one. So now let's move on to the bigger sisans. So let's think about a typical sisan combination in our ballet class, which is most likely to be starting in the corner, croissé, and this confuses people sometimes because I'm going to be jumping this way. It doesn't mean that I have to start if I sit. A lot of the time in class, you're going to start facing this corner. You're going to plie and you're going to jump towards the other corner. I think that can sometimes confuse some people. So just because you're facing one way in ballet to begin doesn't mean that's going to be the direction that you're actually going to travel. I'm going to plie and then I'm going to jump and I'm displacing myself forward this time. And my back leg is going to come to an arabesque position and my front leg is also going to lift slightly forwards. Now, if you have your front splits and a big jump, then you can really go for the 180 degree season. So it's not just about opening the back leg and the supporting leg stays kind of facing down. The idea is that I'm actually opening both legs. And of course, it's the same on the other side. This one we're going to move backwards and we're going to lift up the front leg, for example, plie and close. And the same on the other side, plie and close. And we also have our season décodé much bigger. Instead of the little ones that we were doing before from side to side, this time we're going to really lift the leg 
but also open out that bottom leg as well. So it's going to look like this. And also remembering to always point both feet. So all of the seesongs that I've done so far are seesong film it. And that's because we are closing straight away after we land. So we jump and close in fifth. And to the side the same. We jump and close in fifth. Straight away, we also have seesong over. So seesong over might look something like this. Over, pas de bord, re, or something. So in this case, we do the jump from two feet to one foot and we maintain that position for an extra moment so we don't close straight away in fifth position. So the last seesaw that I want to show you is a seesaw fai assembly and these are called different things depending on which school but I want to show you that the legs don't always open straight away in a seesaw. As you've seen the big seesaws I've just done, as soon as we leave the floor both legs are opening into a big position but for this one quite often we're actually going to stay in a fifth position and then open out. So as we come up, we're in fifth, then we open out, bye, and then assemble. So it should look something like this. Now don't worry about that movement because it's a little bit more advanced, but I just wanted to show you the difference between opening the leg straight away and clinging a little bit before you then open to close. So that's it guys, I really hope you found this video helpful, I hope I managed to explain some doubts that you might have had about Cisans and Tonda Quiz. As always, if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!